Heartbreak and anger in Israel after the bodies of six hostages were recovered from Gaza yesterday, including Oakland-born Hirsch Goldberg Poland. Thousands of protesters took to the streets in Tel Aviv tonight, blocking roads, setting off flares, demanding Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu do more to bring the remaining hostages home. In Berkeley tonight, hundreds gathered to mourn the life of Goldberg Poland and five other hostages. Goldberg Pollen lived in Berkeley when he was younger, and the community grieved together at the synagogue his family used to attend. Here's NBC Bay Area's Alyssa Gord. The synagogue at Congregation Beth Israel in Berkeley was filled to the brim with hundreds crying and praying. They gathered to mourn the six Israeli hostages taken by Hamas and found dead in Gaza. One in particular, many here have a personal connection with. Hirsch. Hirsch Goldberg Poland was a 23-year-old Israeli American. Hirsch was born in this community. Here in Berkeley, in this space, was where um, Hirsch was named. Rabbi Yonatan Cohen explained that many in the congregation still have fond memories of Hirsch and his parents who lived there about two decades ago. He was just a very sweet kid. He loved going out and getting a beer with his dad, um, loved his sisters, loved his mother to death. Like, just a really, there's no other way to say it, just a very sweet, pure soul. Aaron Catler is a lifelong friend of Hirsch's parents, John and Rachel. Since Hirsch's kidnapping at a music festival in Israel on October 7th, his arm partly severed by a grenade, his parents have continually pleaded for his release and for the release of all hostages. Recently, they made that plea at the Democratic National Convention. Hirsch, Hirsch, if you can hear us, we love you. Stay strong. Survive. Often, it's not the way the story was supposed to end. We also want to send them that strength, and we want them to know that their congregation back in Berkeley loves them and is thinking about them. Community members lit candles and wrote notes to Hirsch's family. They wiped away tears and prayed for the hostages still in captivity. There's still 101 bodies and souls that are stuck in those tunnels, and there are innocent civilians, Palestinian civilians that are being killed every day. It's all terrible, and we all want that to end. Alyssa Gord, NBC, Bay Area News.